Okay, I've got a new Brother Strong and Tough machine here. It's the model number ST371HD, and we're going to do my jeans hem test. Now, these are the same jeans that I've used on just about all the other uh, videos that I've done on the jeans test. So, this is an old uh, pair of 560s, I believe it is. Yeah, it's 560. And so these have extremely thick seams here on the inside. So that's why I test on them. That's going to be about the toughest thing you sew on. And so I've taken that and I've beat it down with a hammer on this one uh, to make it a little bit more pliable. And it's beat down to about uh, about probably at 60 percent of the size of this original size hem so i'll leave this one here for a comparison anyway so i've got that under the needle i've got a size 16 smith's needle a jeans needle this one right here in it and then we're going to test how it does on leather and i've got two pieces here of leather that i've cut out that are uh, about four ounces in weight and so that shows you the thickness this is fairly dense leather it's fairly stiff and so i thought it'd be a good test for it when i do that i'm going to use the, le the leather needle i'm going to try a size 18 in it if it won't fit some of these home machines won't take a size 18 needle uh, i'll go in with a size 16 that i have and then we're going to use a stretch needle and try to find some slinky knit to sew on and see how it does on that. So that'll give us some really heavy duty, really thick seam. See how it goes over the hump. I'll use the leveler on the foot on this and uh, that'll give us a good test to kind of see how the machine performs. So anyway, let's do that. Let me get the camera set up so I can capture uh, the uh, action on the foot and we'll get started with the test. We'll start with the jeans. We'll do the leather second and then we will do the slinky knit third. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get started now on the jeans hem. Let's see here. I am using my industrial thread, and it is a it's a TK24, and it's a T80. So that'll tell you the thickness depending on which one they use. So it's T80, and then uh, TKT24. That's the thickness of it. And I'm going to start a little bit before I go over the, the hump here on the uh, flat field seam. And uh, let's see how it does. Okay. Got my tension set at, I'm going to set it at 6. And my stitch length is set at 4. So it's as long as, long as this stitch will go as a stitch length of 4. So we've got to set it at the longest setting. Okay, we're through that. second side seam. It's nothing more than a serge seam, so it's not near as thick as the uh, flat felt seam. So here we go. Okay, we're through that. threads here. Okay. This 
machine has an interesting sound to it. Okay, go ahead and back tack a couple of stitches and we're done. Let's go ahead and have a look and see how we did. Okay, there's where we started and we back tacked right there. And probably tighten the tension just a tad bit more. It looks looks good though, looks acceptable. But it did get over the side seam again. I hammered this down, so show you the difference here between the hammered and the unhammered one so you can see the difference it's quite a bit less in thickness and it also softens the fibers a bit so when you get one of these just put it on concrete and take a hammer and and a bead on it and flatten it out and it'll soften up for you Yeah, I think the bobbin tension needs to be tightened a bit. Looking at this, the top, yeah, maybe it's the top that needs to be a little bit tighter. So I'd, if I'm hemming the jeans on this, I'd go up to seven on the tension on a thread of this thickness. This needs to be a little bit uh, tighter, but it made it through everything. So that's good. At least tells you that it'll sew some fairly heavy duty stuff. And again, these are the old Levi's jeans that are really that tough and thick 100% cotton uh, fabric. So, okay, let's uh, change our needle out to the leather needle. And uh, I'm going to also use some V69 thread. So let me get uh, bobbin wound with that. And uh, let's just see what it does on the leather. So we'll do that next. Okay, I've uh, measured the thickness of the leather. It's 1.6 millimeters, and it's about three and a half ounces. And uh, filling of this stuff, it's not real soft. It's fairly tough. So anyway, let's uh, see if we can sew it here. Size 20 leather needle would not fit in this machine, so I had to use a size 16, and I uh, was able to work it in. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. We'll see what it does with the size 16. Hopefully it'll be strong enough. And I've got uh, bonded nylon V69 thread. I've used a different color in the bobbin and in the top. I've got my tension set on eight and stitch length is still set on four. So let's give it a go here and see what she does. <laughs> start down in it since it won't penetrate it and see what happens rotate the hand well and see what's going on yeah it's just knotted up the thread the foot here so I can remove the needle since it's all bunched up anytime you get that going on with the machine go ahead and remove the needle and uh, it'll make it a little bit easier to kind of work it out go under and cut the thread see what's going on yeah I think what we're having trouble with here also is the eye of the needle is not large enough I'll show you why
Well, so much for this being a really tough and strong machine. Um, you really need a, a larger needle. This is uh, 16 and it kind of shredded the thread as it was trying to go through the eye of the needle and that's what's partly causing the problem. The other thing though is the machine is just not strong enough to uh, sew this style of leather. So that pretty much proves that case. So that's why you test these things to see what they'll do. And it's got so much thread in it, I can't get the needle out of it. So anyway, all right, we're going to put the stretch needle in, change the thread out, and uh, see how it does on some slinky, uh, slinky lightweight knit. So if it can't sew the heavy stuff like that, uh, it did okay on the jeans hem. Uh, tension needed to be a little bit tighter, but I think it would do a jeans hem fine uh, from, from what I saw. Uh, you may need to help it a little bit if it hits a really dense part of that uh, denim uh, by turning the hand well. But anyway, it made it through it okay. So let's try the knit next, and uh, we'll see how it does on it. Okay, I've got a size 11 stretch needle in, and I've got some thread here that is the T40 and it's a TKT50 size. So this is going to be the thin, really thin, slinky knit and then I'm going to sew something more like a t-shirt, just a, a medium weight t-shirt also uh, knit and see how it does. But let's try this thin stuff first and see how it does. I'm just going to do two layers. I've just folded it over here. Adjust my tension back to normal. Stitch length will be 2.5. And I've got my tension set about three and a half for this. Okay, here we go. I'm using just a plain straight stitch. see it. Stitch looks good on the top. It's nice and even. See what the back side looks like. Back side looks good. The seam is laying flat. So it did very well with a stretch needle on this slinky knit. So if it does good on that. I know it will sew this more stable knit, but let's give it a try. See what happens. Two layers here, lay one right on top of the other one. Let's try a stretch stitch. See if I can find it. It's number 20, it looks like. Okay, let's 
try. <laughs> And it's stretching a bit, so that's not bad. Um, anytime you sew a knit with a straight stitch, if you put just a little bit of tension on it as it feeds through, you can get it to stretch without popping. If you really pull it way beyond what probably a, word, a person should do when it fits, um, it's going to pop in that case. But anyway, uh, it sewed this successfully, and I haven't looked at the manual yet, so there's a way to get to the stretch stitch and I'll have to figure out what that is. Uh, let me do that real quickly and we'll try a stretch stitch on it so I'll be right back. Okay, I figured out how to do the straight stitch, I'm um, sorry the stretch stitch. Um, you have to turn the stitch length dial far to the right and these uh, controls really are tight which is not bad. They kind of, you hear it clicking when you turn it. Anyway, so take the stitch length, turn it all the way to the right, and the SS will show up. So I stopped on one called F, and I thought that was as far as it would go because it was really hard when I went from F to zero, and uh, I just didn't push hard enough. So you got to really push it uh, hard to get over to SS. So anyway, let's give it a try here and see how the stretch stitch looks. I've got my stitch length set at 3.5, so here we go. Okay, there's our stretch stitch. It's a little loose on the back. So I'll go ahead and tighten it up a little bit. The tension's at 3.5, so anyway, that's part of what allows it to stretch. Top looks good, but again, a little bit tighter tension probably. And this is my regular straight stitch here, and you see by slightly putting a little bit of tension on it, it'll stretch some too. So. Uh, but anyway, if you want to use the uh, stretch stitch, I've got the tension set on 3.5. I may go up just to maybe to 4 on it. Let me do that real quick here and let's see how it does. Okay, I just went from 3.5 to 4. Let's try this and see what we get. Yeah, it's a little better. I still see a few loops. See how loose it is. Yeah, it's pretty tight. That's probably just from the, the little bit of stretchiness that it provides on that. So I use sergers and cover stitch machines on a lot of this stuff, so I rarely so with the stretch stitch and uh, so I don't know what all the characteristics are on all the machines when you use it since I use it so little but anyway the bottom line is it sews it and it seems to do fine on this and you can stretch it so that's all that's important and you may have to play a little bit with your tension and stuff and that's a size 11 uh, needle I prefer to have a size 12 for the uh, thread that I'm using on this but I don't have any so I had to use what what I had which is size 11 stretch needle 
and it's a Smets stretch needle. So anyway, that's it. Uh, that'll show you it actually does okay on the slinky net with a stretch needle and uh, stitch looks really good on this slinky net and on this heavier net uh, straight stitch look fine you can, you can tell from me stretching a little bit how it kind of gathers up back there but that's to provide stretching for it but the top stitching looks good and this is the second test on the stretch stitch so overall it did just fine on that uh, I, it, it appears to be a, a good ma little machine a um, little concerned about the trouble it had on the leather and so go back and look at the other videos that I've got uh, the Singer Heavy Duty sewing leather uh, I've got a Toyota uh, machine that sewed through uh, two layers of leather and six layers of denim so if you're really wanting to do heavier stuff use those as your guide but just overall hemming jeans and that kind of stuff this machine's okay um, I don't know that it lives up completely to its strong and tough name though in the end so I don't know what they're comparing it to but anyway it, to me it's not quite as good as a Singer Heavy Duty and it actually costs a little bit more so look at my videos on the Singer Heavy Duty and the things it can do and uh, then you can kind of compare this and kind of come up with your own conclusion. But anyway, that's what these tests are for. I just kind of show you what I'm seeing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. That's it for now. Have a good day.